I'm your gopher. I don't know how I feel about that title. Hello everyone, my name is Luna Fial and welcome or welcome back to my Animal Crossing Island Ivy. I had an intro recorded already, but it was way too long. Point is, this was streamed at twitch.tv forward slash Luna Fial. We tried to hunt for mushrooms DIYs, found none, did the Thanksgiving event, did some decorating, tore down our old decorations, and if you want to watch any of the full VODs, you can check them out on the VOD playlist on my channel that I'll link in the description. Okay, go bye. Where is my message in a bottle? The one time I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna look for all the babies. Wow. They're so talented. I just want cute mushroom DIYs, please. That's all I ask. Blah, 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 blah. What are you making? What are you making? Apple jelly. Ooh. Now we can make that. I mean, it's not really what we were looking for, but we'll take it. Let's see what Tom Nook has. See if there's anything good in here. What is this? I don't have enough money. I'm so broke. Okay, we need money. We need money. Buy that because it's cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Ooh. Okay, so I want to have like a little like toy area, maybe like a little Santa's workshop type of thing. I think that would be really cute. Time travel. Is your name Kiki? So my name is Kelsey, but my family calls me Kiki. So my in-game name is Kiki. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, my family calls me Kiki Birdie or just Birdie or Kiki. I don't, it started when I was in, I was like 14, I think, and I'm almost 24. So <laughs> it's been around for a little while. Okay, we move that. Let's go get the little low table and then we'll probably time travel. Yeah, my my nickname is like Kiki Birdie, and then my sister, her name is Sarah. We call her Sari the Fairy. So for some reason, we're just like small flying creatures, the both of us. Small flying things are cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start actually tearing down like my entrance. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Or we could just start. I'm really indecisive. Okay, well, let's put some stuff away and then see what we have if we have any Christmas. I want snow and Christmas. To Christmas land we go. Off we go. Yeah, it's definitely Tuesday, December 12th. Okay, so we're gonna have to make snowmen. I forgot that's a thing I want as well. We're gonna have to make snowmen. We're gonna have to get all of the winter DIYs. All the, the house is covered in snow like a thick blanket, one that is cold and wet. As I battle the bitter cold, I think of you and so through the night. Oh, that's cute. Flashy cardigan. That is, that is something. That is a flashy cardigan. We're not lying. Mom's hand it sweater. <gasps> oh. Okay, well, we're wearing that. All right. We have a mission. Oh, okay, cool. We need to make a perfect snowboy. And I'm not really good at that. That is something. It is. That, okay. Getting Amelia's sweater and then getting this one, like, night and day difference. This one is really cute. The one from Amelia is, it exists. It's a sweater. It is the sweater of all time, as they might say. I know there's like a trick you can do where you line it up with your ears or something on your character, and then you line it up with the top of your head. There it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. No! Okay, that's fine. Yippee! What the heck is that bug? Like a funky little dragonfly. So close! Ah! That should be a little bigger, better match your body. Okay, but like how? I did bring you to life. You don't have anything to give me? That's so rude. Okay, I guess we'll have to work on that. I don't know what was supposed to be better. I think it looks fine, but whatever. Yeah, the head is a little small. Dang it. Whoa, what the heck? Apple jelly looks really cool. That is not what I thought it was going to look like. We're, we're going to be busy. <laughs> I did decide to grace you with an appearance. You're welcome. You're welcome. I just want snow DIYs. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> You're not leaving. You're not. No, I'm ignoring you. I love static. He's one of my OGs from like Animal Crossing Wild World. He's stuck here forever, actually. Why is nobody crafting, sir? Prado, where have you been? Something amazing happened while you were gone. Guess what it was? I'll tell you. 
I mean, I could eat my weight in potato gratin, and you said I couldn't. And it was bright. I only got like 12 pounds before I reverse snacked all over the place. I don't barf. I reverse snack. Anyway, welcome home. Thank you. Please don't reverse snack again. A toy helicopter. I mean, I guess. But that's not what I wanted. Taking down all my Christmas stuff. Because it is really, it is not the vibe. And here we are, my friends. We are starting to tear down all of the lovely fall decorations that I had set up. I said, you know what? If we can't have a cute little trick-or-treating neighborhood, we're going to have the cutest Christmas village you ever did see. So I start putting down a little bit of fencing there just so I can get an idea of what I want to use. It's the iron and stone fencing. And then we're at my entrance picking up anything remotely spooky. Uh, I know I could have kept a lot of this uh, for like the Thanksgiving time. You know, it's still November, still fall technically, but I really want to try to get this island uh, like to a place where I'm happy with before Christmas. That is my goal. Um, I don't think I gave myself enough time to do like a Halloween island. I mean, I got like maybe two or three builds done. Um, and I do like how those came out, which is why I keep a lot of the bones for it. But yeah, it was not a realistic time frame. Um, so I'm hoping we're able to get more done. You'll see I'm putting down like some pink and purple flowers. Those do not stay. I thought I wanted to do the pastel print, uh, I must have pastel princess, pastel Christmas theme. And I think that's still a really cute idea that I might want to do one day, but I ended up doing the more traditional uh, Christmas colors, like red, white, gold, green, uh, blue, that type of thing. So the flowers that I do end up putting down and replacing those with are like red, yellow. I had like no red flowers. You'll see like throughout the video that there's just a giant pile of red flowers that I had to do. Um, but yeah, I am really excited with how this is coming out. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, I've been streaming and that gives me a lot more time to work on the builds that I'm doing because I feel like I actually have more like set times to play Animal Crossing that's not just recording because it's a little bit easier to go through a VOD than just like straight recording so I kind of like oh yeah this is what was happening here and stuff like that um so if you can't be there to watch live I completely get it but if you would like to I do have the VODs uploaded I'm a little bit behind right now I have a few I need to upload um but they should be all up there soon I linked to the playlist in my description and at the start of the video as well so if you do find that you'd like to check those out feel free um or you can just watch the sped up version of that here uh, I do put down a little pond kind of in between some of the houses in the museum just to help break it up because uh, it just it's very flat on my island and I did that because I you know flattened it but I think adding some like cliffs and this little pond here I do add a few cliffs around the museum you'll see later in the video um, that helps a lot to just like make it look differentiated without having like trees and hedges everywhere which I do love me some trees and hedges but you know Gotta get a little little diversity in what we got going on. So yeah, this is very much bare bones um, in terms of like picking stuff up. I'm just kind of laying out a little bit of furniture that I have that I want to use. Um, and this is what my map's looking like at this point. Oh my god! It keeps being so close! I'm trying! I'm trying! What is wrong with him? I'm so sad. I just want the DIYs, please. Better on the nice list than on the naughty one. <laughs> so true. And that is just a little peek into my pain of building the perfect snow boys. It takes me so long to figure out how to do it right. So that's like the start of the saga. Um, here I am working on Barina's house. Each of the houses I wanted to have like kind of a purpose yard type of thing. So for Marina, she makes all the Christmas clothes. You know, she's got those eight little arms. They're very effective at making all the little Christmas clothes, which I love. I use a lot of different uh, custom designs. And if you're interested in the custom designs that I'm using, let me know and I can uh, maybe like make a Google Doc or something. Um, but I found a lot of these just by searching on Pinterest <laughs> for like snowy design or Christmas designs. Um, and yeah, I know I wanted Marina to be like the little seamstress, so I'm just putting stuff down trying to get a good like flow of items. I like it to look a little bit cluttered, uh, but not like you can't walk through everything. Um, statics area is like a 
kind of like electronics area to like fix any of the batteries or the toys that don't work. I do end up giving him some more toys later on, but for now, uh, I think in this part of it, it's just um, like electronic stuff. Henry is like our traditional like Christmas items. So he has like the festive candles and the dreidel and you know, the little Santa sleigh, like things like that. I wanted to have like a dedicated like classic uh, like festive Christmas items little area so that's what Henry ends up having um, I don't know if he like makes them or sells them or whatever it is but I like how his area ends up looking there's a few things that I would like to add to it like there's definitely um, like a little bit of blank areas around it but I think it ends up looking really nice um, and yeah I think that's kind of the very very <laughs> long and the short of it right now but I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving I know that just passed um or if you're not in uh the United States I hope you had a good Thursday <laughs> um but yeah I ended up going to my mom's house and seeing my parents and uh my aunts or one aunt one uncle um and a few of my cousins as well which was really nice um, it was a very, very quiet little event, and it was pretty nice. Thanksgiving has never really been my, like, super, super favorite holiday. Like, I don't mind it. I am a uh, pescatarian, so I don't eat meat. So it's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, like, turkey, ham. Uh, the food isn't... It isn't amazing. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not my favorite food ever. So I'm just more like, oh, like, hey, everyone, how you doing? Anyway... <laughs> I'm, I like cooking and stuff like that, but not like, I don't know. I feel like the stuff I like to make isn't like Thanksgiving food, for lack of a better word. <laughs> I know a lot of people will have like mac and cheese at their Thanksgiving, and I feel like I would, I make a really good broccoli cheddar pasta, which is essentially mac and cheese with broccoli in it. Don't knock until you try it. Um, but I don't, I don't know if that would be something I could bring to Thanksgiving for my family. Um... But here we are working at Static's little house. Like I said, he's kind of our little electronics guy. Um, I do add in a few toys later on. Again, we'll see those later. But I do like how his area looks. I feel like it has a good mixture of walkable-ish, but also really cute. Like I like the little confetti cannon and the little wires on the ground. I think it just adds like more to it than just like a bunch of items everywhere, even though that's literally what it is, but you know what I mean. Um, I feel like it ends up looking really cute, and then I think I get started a little bit on other people's houses here as well. I think the next one we go to is Azalea, I believe. Oh, no, we're going back to- <laughs> we're going back to Marina's. That's the problem with the VODs, though, is that I'm like, ah, I think we're doing this next. But here we are with the little patchwork table that I wanted uh, to give Marina a little sewing spot. I think it's really cute so that she can be, like, making the items or doing whatever she does. Of course, we added a little bit of music here, and they won't stop singing Wandering. Everywhere I go, they're singing it, and I'm not mad at it. I'm just like, my goodness, I could be so far away, and they'll still be jamming to it. Here we are though working on Azalea's house. I knew this was next. Um, and she is, I've been saying it's like the plasticky, like hard shell toys. That's what she's making. So like the toy helicopter, the dinosaur toy. Um, I can't remember what else I give her. Put a little toy box there, stuff like that. But that's kind of what I wanted her to be in charge of making, I guess. I guess technically they're all like little, little Santa elves, but I really love how her area came out. I think it's my favorite that we have so far. Um, I think it just looks really like, it looks busy in like a way that is lived in and not, I don't know. You know when you see those houses that like they look beautiful, but you're like, wow, no one lives here. I feel like sometimes uh, builds, like my builds look like that in Animal Crossing. I'm like, oh yeah, like this looks nice, but it doesn't look like realistic, even though it's a, you know, cartoony animal game, but you know what I mean. I really like how her area turns out. I think it looks lived in. Um, and here I am grabbing more flowers that I end up switching out because I really was committed to the, uh, the pastel Christmas bit, but that, like I said, ends up not staying. But I think that's the end of this little voiceover section, so I'm gonna pass you back to real-time Luna. The eggiest boy! Thank you so much for the raid! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the follows. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you for being here. It is time. It is time for Turkey Day. So we're going to do all the Thanksgiving things. And then once we finish that up, we'll probably time travel back to December 
and continue decorating. And I've done some work off camera so that decorating can be a little bit easier. I've got some more recipes and I got some more uh, items. And it's turkey day! Yippee! Time for turkey. You can see my snow path. <laughs> you can see, oh, oh, little spoiler. I did do, like I said, I did a little bit of work off camera. Here, oh, Franklin is covered by a tree. Poor Franklin. Professional chef extraordinaire. Full official title. No one knows feasting like turkeys. That is one way to put that, my friend. A conceptual feast. Brought me everything I need to whip up a positively goblicious. I feel like it should be goblicious. Today's about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local, local ingredients whenever possible. Three manila clams. Hmm. I guess I'm a clam digger. Is it? Oh, okay. So he's not actually going to ask us to do it. He's just going to... That sounds rough. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Where on my beaches is not just absolutely covered <laughs> with flowers. Make clam check. Oh, there's one. That was easy. Yeah, I wish you could store flowers in this game. Needless to say, one more clam. Oh, to get Nook Miles for clam digging. Oh, because I've only dug up five. That's really sad. Oh, well. More clam. I heard one. I heard a clam. Oh, there he is. All right. We got our clams for the turkey. Now he can make clam chowder. Who decides what animals are ethical to eat in this game and who's not? Like, how do we know the clams didn't have their own, like, little island? Here's your clams. I did. I'm the best. Fresh manila clams. Yup. I wish this tree was in the way. Let's get cooking. Wow. Beautiful. Wonderful. Majestic. Lolly is starving. Thanks to me and also you. Yeah. Yeah. A turkey day rug. Oh my goodness. We love free stuff. I'm your gopher. I don't know how I feel about that title. You need a pumpkin? I have those. I have those. I have plenty of pumpkin. I'm gonna just real quick empty my inventory because <laughs> I was decorating. Yes, pumpkin pie. I have the ingredients, my friend. Gobble gob. Oh crazy, dude. Beautiful, beautiful. I like how the villagers wear like these silly little hats. I don't know why that's what they decided on, but I think it's very cute. A flat mushroom as well as a potato. Mm. Do we do we have those things on our person? We can see if we have those. And if we don't, we can go bug some villagers about it. That's how you're technically supposed to get the ingredients. These buddies right here. Potatoes should be over here. Then once we get the potato, we can make the gratin. Here you go. I'm just holding a, a vaulting hole. Don't mind me. I don't even know. A me, a me on near, a me on near. Me, that sea bass and a red snapper. All right, it's time for fishing. Let's see what we can find. I feel like a sea bass will be easy. It's, it's a sea bass. What the heck? What the heck? Zebra turkey fish. What the heck? I give up. Who's home? Who needs ingredients? Chef Ion is in the kitchen. What does she need from me? All right, what you got? A horse mackerel. Okay, let's go find a horse mackerel. If it's another football fish, I might cry. Sea bass, sea bass, sea bass. Yippee! I think that's the first time I've ever been happy to see a sea bass. And of course. I only needed one and now it's like, hey, hey. oh my god. Give me a horse mackerel. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not helping I own. We have your ingredients. We are ready. Here's your fish. Where did the green weeds come from? No idea. Off recipe with a few ingredients. Bring any ingredients they might work. Uh, a bear knife. Okay. 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 Here you go. <laughs> I thought he might like tell me what I should bring and then he just stole a fish from me. I don't understand how the cooking works if we've already made the dish. Like, how is it different? That looks the exact same. But now it's sparkly. I don't, I don't know what else we should use. I'm going to start... I'm gonna try to catch a 
or smack girl for I own. Maybe she'll give me something good. No idea what the silly little turkey is looking for. Well, this is definitely not the fish we're looking for, but I'm going to catch it anyway. And I can't catch a horse mackerel. Because fishing in this game is mean. That is not a horse mackerel, but I'm going to catch it. Big fish. Another. I just want a horse mackerel, please! I don't even remember what a horse mackerel looks like anymore. Are they in season? They should be. So Ion asked for one as an ingredient, and I feel like... They wouldn't be that mean to ask for a fish that's not in season. Let me double check because I swear if it's not, I will cry. I'm going to get rid of the sea bass. Um, oh, yeah, it's it's here apparently all the time. <laughs> you can see how little I fish in this game, though. <laughs> I'm here for decorating and decorating only. Let's see what we get. Anything good? Oh, and my pockets are full. Sorry, my life. OK, um, we drop. Inventory is always a mess. All right, let's see what we got. A ro what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Until we get a horse mackerel, I'm wondering that. <laughs> Please be a horse mackerel. Please. I just want to be free. Oh my. <laughs> How are you? Oh my god. Are you a horse mackerel? It's Biddy, but they might be Biddy. I don't remember. Ugh. Please. Oh my god, we're free. We're free. Alright, let's take this stupid thing off. For now, we give Ione her horse mackerel. And we party. Hello, little squirrel. I have your thing. You give me something from your pantry. I hope it's maybe like some pasta. An extra scallop. Okay. We can put that in the clam chowder, probably. Okay, you can add large clams. Larger clams than- Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Lar- Whoa! Large. They put really big words in this game. I that's kind of rude. <laughs> Let's go see the silly turkey or add ingredients. It always confuses me. These like these are done, but we're adding things somehow. I don't think you can just like do that. I'm I'm holding the key to a positively delectable clam chowder. Help me unlock its its flavor potential. I thought that said flavor polenta. All right, y'all better love this clam chowder. Bubble gob. <laughs> With the addition of a hearty scallop to the middle of clams, it's no longer merely merely soup. It's super duper. Looking forward to this chance to strut my stuff in the kitchen. I intend to go all out. Another horse <laughs> Not another horse mackerel. <laughs> Marita, why? <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. Okay. They love horse mackerel. They do, and it's mean. Please be a horse mackerel. Please be a horse mackerel. I'm not strong enough to do this again. Please be a horse mackerel. Oh my god, okay. It's okay. They had mercy on me this time. The Animal Crossing gods, they, they smiled upon me. Just now, though. Not the other time. Here's your horse mackerel. A white pumpkin? Is that for our pumpkin pie? Oh my gosh. I already did that. I already did that. We did that already, Marina. All right, let's go give this pumpkin that I could have literally just picked if I had known about it to the turkey. I swear to God, if he needs another horse mackerel, he's going to be the next dish. And I don't even eat meat. What? Why do you not want my pumpkin? Ugh. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's go bother someone else. Oh my god, ketchup wants a sea bass. This is the best day ever. Did I? I got rid of my sea bass. I got rid of it. Uh, okay, let's go get a sea bass. Fine. Everything's fine. I'm not bitter. Please be a sea bass. If it's another football fish, I might cry. Oh, thank god. Okay. My Joy-Con started vibrating, so I got afraid that it was actually a, fifth, a fish of value. I just said fifth. Yes, yes, a sea bass. Here you go. Now, please give me something of value. A yellow pumpkin. I already, I already know that. And I already did that. You're not helpful, ketchup. Please want a yellow pumpkin. White and yellow? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So the yellow pumpkin wasn't useless. Or the white one. Whatever one I got first. All is right in the world. Somehow we're going to add these pumpkins into our already finished pumpkin pie. Let's get cooking! Yay! <laughs> I only have one meal left and then we're free. And we can decorate. Our bounty of multicolored pumpkins has revamped the palette. If not the palette of my pup. Pal is are they both palette? I don't like that one. Or even harder. I just. Bleh, 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 bleh. Bleh. I don't know what the heck the last one's gonna need. Hello, bird. It'll be another horse mackerel if it are. If it are, if it is. I will cry. A dab? Okay. 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 Yes. Take take this thingy. Take the fish I already caught that I don't need. I'm splendiferous. Thank you. Did I already get a muscle? I think I already got a muscle. Crab makes a... Okay, so we need a crab? Can we catch one of those? The Dungeness crab? I'm pretty sure we can catch one of those. I don't know if I have. Mm, is it? Is it you? Nope. We want to try to catch it. We can try. There's a rock. I'm gonna jump off a rock. All right. Ready? We're gonna do a super cool trick. Ready? 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 Oh, I didn't do it. Wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. Didn't see that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, second time's the charm. We're looking for a crab. I don't know how to tell what is what. We're just going to catch everything we can. A sweet shrimp. Really not. Okay, cool. Crab, is this what we need? No. Oh, do we get to... Yay! It is it is he. Hello. Hey, man. About that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Sure, here you go. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. After thoughts are still thoughts. They just come after the other thoughts. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Give me crab. That's it. A oh, well cursed seaweed. Please, I just want to be done. I was over this the second we had to catch like 40 fish mac or horse mackerels. All right. Three out of four is going to be good enough. You know, that's 75. That's passing. That is good enough for me. Starting out. You know, I was making a snowman. Etoile tried to leave me. Uh, this was the first snowman I built. Also so close to being a perfect snowman. Didn't, was totally like normal about this. I didn't want to cry at all. Uh, and Lolly came to visit me. Look how cute we are in our little Christmas sweaters. I made a perfect snow boy. I might have looked up a guide to do it, but I did it. And there he is. And then I made another one because I'm built different. Oh yeah, <laughs> Henry gave me a toilet. <laughs> You like those things, don't you? Yeah, I was a little in disbelief about that. And then I made another perfect snowman. So not to flex, but I've I've made three perfect snowmen now. And apparently I like tankless toilets. And with that, my wonderful friends, we are here. We are decorating. Uh, here I am in front of Eric's little house. So Eric and Amelia, they own a small business together where they sell Christmas trees. They help you cut them down and then they, you know, sell them to you. They help you bring them home. They're very talented at what they do. Um, this little centerpiece right here, this is my pride and joy of my island right now. I really love how this came out. Um, I kind of just eyeballed this little shape type of thing um, and then went ham. I really, really like how it turned out, like I said. Um, I wanted like a big centerpiece because I feel like, you know, there was a lot of cobblestone in the middle and it was just a lot of gray and with the white, you're like, wow, that is so boring to look at. So I really wanted to just brighten it up, make it look really festive and Christmassy and like, a, like kind of those fancy mall centerpieces. Uh, that was kind of my inspiration, so. Sorry for all the random cuts in here. Also, I was trying to make sure that this video wasn't a million years long. Um, so that's why there's a little bit of cuts here and there. But then I also had some iron chairs and tables that I wanted to put down just so there's like some seating if you wanted to, you know, like if you were actually shopping here, going to all the little different villager houses where they're selling their goods, uh, you can, you know, take a little break, put your stuff down, maybe get a picture by the giant ornament. I don't know, whatever you want. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I put a few toys down here as well, and there's a few DIYs that I don't think I had at this point yet um, that I do add, like I get the illuminated presents and the illuminated um, snowflakes, I think that's what they're called, but there's a few things that, like I said, you don't see here yet, so if you want to see, you know, what it's looking like updated and not wait for the next video, you can always come to a stream, wink wink, nudge nudge. Um, but here we are at Ketchup's house. So Ketchup's house actually gave me a bit of trouble. So she is supposed to be like the person that wraps all the presents. Um, I feel like this is a pretty classic area. So like you do your shopping and then you bring her your presents and then, you know, she'll wrap them for you. Um, for some reason, like I said, her area was just really difficult to make look right in my head. Um, I do, I don't think I end up doing it now, but I do end up going back and fixing her area up a little bit because it just doesn't look like the other ones do. Like, I feel like the other ones, the little yards that I have set up, like, look cohesive. Like, it's like, oh yeah, like, this all goes together. And you can see I'm, like, kind of looking at the other people's houses that I just did and then back to ketchups and I'm like, something just doesn't feel right. Um... I do end up, like I said, I do end up figuring it out a little bit later. I don't know if that's right now, but uh, we'll see. Here I am just grabbing some more things, hoping to try and figure it out. It just, like I said, just things just kind of look weird. But that's why, like, I really like decorating Animal Crossing because it can be a lot of that trial and error. And you can just kind of mess with stuff until it looks right in your little brain. Um, yeah, her, her yard gives me some trouble. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so here I am kind of fixing it up a little bit. I thought like her little yard thing looked kind of weird. It needed some height. I wanted to do some flowers here. I didn't like how that looked. Um, I don't know what I end up putting there. I don't think I have the item that I end up putting there right now, but I was like, screw it. We're going to work on Amelia and Eric's little small business area. And I really thought I wanted to use that fireplace, but I think with the seating that I have, it just looked odd. Like it just looked too like formal for like a log bench and stuff like that so i end up using the little um i think it's called like a fire pit that's the fire pit item so i end up using that and i really like how it looks it just feels more like rustic <laughs> for lack of a better word um and i think it looks really good and you can see henry here you know he's checking it out he's interested in getting his christmas tree we love that um yeah, do some more flowers. There's a lot of flowers, like lines like that, that I put places just because it's easy and it fills up some space. Um, because I, I use a lot of trees. You will see that there are so many trees and here's my pile of flowers. Um, because flowers on the beach just isn't enough. I need all the flowers ever. And at this point I was switched from the pink purple uh, color scheme to like the red, white and yellow flowers as a majority of what I use. Um, I do maybe want to use some blue flowers, but I just don't know how it would look. We'll see. I might like try to throw some in here and there, but yeah, this is kind of what the area ends up looking like. And I throw down some shrubs, I throw down some trees, stuff like that, um, just to kind of get a better idea. And then, uh, Etoile's is another house that I just like don't get right right now. And so hers is supposed to be like the plushy area. So there's like the dreamy bears and the dreamy plush and stuff like that and the mom's uh, little dog toy that she makes and stuff like that. So all of that goes here, but I just don't love how it ends up looking, but I think that's all we get done for now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing and all of my socials will be linked below, including the VODs playlist. So if you'd like to watch any of this live, you can do so there. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for being here. Have a good day.